So it's time we turbo the 240 here. We got a T28 from an S15 here. Um, I have to put that together and we're gonna throw that on the KA. So right now, Trevor's been switching the intake manifolds. We've got a spare KA there. Um, and it already has this manifold um, blocked off. So there's a flow valve at the back there, um, which was taken out. It's a bunch of baffles that are in here. We took that out. We pretty much removed all the emission stuff from back here, blocked off all the, or we're removing all the vacuum lines that we don't need, um, switching those over. We also welded a bung here on the oil pan. Um, this is for the oil return. And uh, we're gonna get all this stuff mounted on the KA. Check out how good the wiring is on this car <laughs> when we got it. We got a marine plug. <laughs> like, why is this here? We're gonna clean all that up, pretty much rewire the whole engine and put in the Link ECU. Chad and the guys here, hooking up the turbo, getting all that finalized, and um, hopefully have this running in like a couple weeks. All right, some motors ready to go in. We welded on our wastegate flange. And here's how we ran our line. So we've got coolant line on this side and on that side. They both run back here and they're gonna tee in to the heater core, which is this guy right here. And then that guy up here, which is this. Because we removed all the hoses in there, um, that's what we're teeing into. And then we've got oil feed, which is on the top of the turbo. That's coming around and then we're teeing in this guy going right here where that's um, where the oil pressure sensor is. That's a 1.8 BSPT thread. Um, so we have to get an adapter to go into this T, which will then tee in like that and then our oil pressure sensor will still be able to go right there. So yeah, that's the lines. Let's throw the motor in. I know. Yeah, with the engine rolled up. Because I got one in. Yeah. So I'm
Lots of progress. Obviously, motors in, turbos in. Started on some intercooler piping. Uh, got the fuel lines mostly routed through. Um, we just got to hook them up down there. We did put in a fuel pump earlier, and we put in a battery relocation. So we got the battery in the back now to give us some space. And we're working on some wiring. We've got a Link ECU that we're going to be putting in, and then Kuba and I are working right now on a intake here. So, oh yeah, and then we're also. This is our wastegate, which we welded onto the back of the turbo, onto the ma exhaust manifold. We're gonna send this guy up out the hood, which should be pretty sick. So, yeah, it's coming together. Chad's been absolutely killing it with the wiring. He pretty much tore up half the wiring harness. We wanted to remove basically everything that we don't need. We're reusing the stock wiring harness um, just to keep it simple instead of like making a whole new wiring harness. Um, but we took out basically like everything that we don't need and simplified it as much as we can. And then as you can see, we're running coil packs a little bit better for tuning, I think. Um, also cleans it up. I think you can, you get a better spark as well. So wiring in some coil packs, um, probably have to do some sort of like new distributor cap that deletes all of this, but that should be fine for now. I think you can just use this as your um, cam angle sensor. So yeah, that's what we're doing for all the wiring. In the meantime, we also got um, yeah our intake all done. We relocated our power steering reservoir to back here, just 3D printed a little mount for that. So that's good. We made a heat shield, which will go in there shortly. Um, installed a boost solenoid down there just 3d printed like a little mounting bracket for that and is there anything else we've done probably a bunch of other little stuff anything oh yeah and we also deleted our crankcase ventilation the, the little tubes that go into the intake manifold apparently apparently those leak a lot so we just wanted to remove them get them done with and then we got a catch can i ordered a catch can proper catch can that we're going to be putting in um, but basically all we did was remove those hoses tap the holes and thread in some bolts with some um, silicone and those should seal a lot better. I'm trying to go drifting in like a week or two, so two weeks. So we're trying to get this thing tuned very soon. So yeah, lots of hours lately, but it'll get done shortly.